Okay, time to do some fall cooking. We're real excited to have some folks here from the American Club and Kohler getting all ready for their food and wine experience. Uh, we have Chef Becky and Trisha. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to uh, make, it's been smelling wonderful all morning, um, an apple bread pudding. So we're going to get started with that, Becky, and then we'll talk about a really fun thing to do this fall that you're invited. To, uh, they do it every year at the American Club. It is great fun. But first, we're going to talk about the bread pudding. All right, so this is the easiest recipe possible for, for bread pudding. I like that. So I think bread pudding was started by a lazy chef who needed something quickly so this is really easy. <laughs> my kind of recipe all right, and using so the stuff you already have absolutely you know, great all right so we first started with um, sauteing a little uh, granny smith apple I like using granny smiths because they're tart they hold their um, you know dignity I guess so and they don't fall apart you didn't even have, have to peel it which I like no, yeah, absolutely okay, you okay. want to eat the peel has okay a lot of nutrients so a little bit of butter and a little bit of brown sugar in there okay in a bowl we have you can use whole milk or heavy cream depending on how much fat you want to put in your diet, but we have um, whole milk here. Okay. We're going to do a couple eggs here into our bowl and just kind of whisk these together. And to that, we're going to add some bread. So this is just a French baguette, but you can use croissants, any sort of, I like crustier breads. Right. They hold up a little better. You want it a little more dry. You don't want it to be, you know, all the fresh baked bread is sure. delicious. Sure, sure. And bread pudding, you want a little more uh, a little more dry. So two day old bread or day old bread is perfect for this recipe. And nice sized chunks I see. Yeah, nice here, sized chunks. Okay. It's, it's going to have to hold up to a lot of liquid. So okay. you want a nice, nice big chunks there. And to this we're going to add our uh, apples. That we sauteed. And that, the thing is we didn't saute them real long. They still, you no, know, you, you want to keep them a little minutes. crisp because okay. so, you're going to cook it in the oven. Okay. So okay. to that we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. And this is a bourbon vanilla. Ooh. It's a little bit thicker. A little bourbon doesn't hurt you early in the morning. A little bit of uh, cinnamon, just a couple pinches. Smells good. And then to that, we're going to add some Wisconsin maple sh maple syrup. So just enough to kind of give it some sweetness. And we did have some brown sugar with the apple, so we don't want to add it too, too much, much more. Okay. And with this, we are just going to mix it all together. Oven temperature is about what time? About uh, 350. Okay. And depending on how big you're going to bake, what kind of dish you're going to bake it in. So if you do it a, a traditional nine and a half by 11, you're going to do about an hour and a half. Okay. So you really want this wet, but not so wet that it's... Um, and the best way to do it sometimes is just clean hands, get in exactly. there and Exactly, there's it. not really yeah. a, a clean way to do this. And we've got some <laughs> in the oven here. This is yes. best served warm with vanilla So what we're gonna do, just cream. enough, where we're yep. gonna let this sit traditionally for about 30 minutes, just so the bread soaks up everything. That is a really good tip. I think that's one tip you don't wanna skip. Yeah, and you can even do it overnight. So we're going to put everything into our little baking pan right here. These are gorgeous. And here it is. Absolutely So beautiful. all I did was uh, top that with a little more maple syrup and some butter at the very end. Oh, my gosh. So you want everything in Yum. there? Yum. Talk about the perfect fall dessert. Ooh. Super, super, yep. super easy. Yum. All right, I'll let you go wash your hands, uh, <laughs> Becky. Yeah, no problem. And Trish, let's talk about food and wine. It just keeps getting better and better. I'm one of the oh. MCs. I'm lucky enough to go down there and uh, meet some of you know wonderful chefs. It is open to anyone. Um, you know, it, it's it's our, in our own backyard, and sometimes we get more people from Chicago coming than right here it's in true. our area. It's true. I'm surprised when people tell me that they don't know this happens. You know, just within like an hour or so drive, because it's right right in your backyard, and we have big top name talent from across the nation who are coming to be at this event. Like so who? Like who? Oh, like who? That's the exciting part always. So we have Graham Elliott this year, so many people know him from MasterChef. We have Stephanie Iser from The Girl and the Goat. You can't get into that restaurant unless you have about three months. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> she's planning. from Top Chef, of yep, course. Exactly. You'd recognize her if you saw her. She's great. Yeah, and then we have America's Test Kitchen, who's been with us for a few years, bringing amazing programming, and then also Jeffrey Zakarian uh, from Chopped. So very exciting. And, and those are the big names. There's the so names. many <laughs> other chefs. Yeah, yeah, we have chefs from, you know, from within Green Bay, Madison, Milwaukee being represented, Chicago as well. And then, of course, we have winemakers who come from around the world to be at the event. It is such a wonderful experience. Um, it, it kicks off uh, Thursday night. Correct. I think that's the 20 23rd. 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a really fun night. That's a, a, a MC that night. It's basically a kind of like a, a chef competition. The Kohler chefs go head to head. Yep. It's like you're, you know, watching a TV <laughs> show. Uh, they have a certain amount of time, 15 Secret minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and 
it's a great, great night. All the money for that goes to charity. So Correct. that's Thursday night. Lots of tickets available for that. You can come down and see beautiful Kohler. And then events all weekend long, right. you know, to come down for one class or two or mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, walk around the shops, Cooking whatever. demos, spirits. We have wine demonstrations. Um, there's great big tasting events, too. So if you just want to come and, like, do a lot of tasting of different things, you can do that. We also have a lot of complimentary events throughout the weekend. So if you come down and do one thing, you can fill the rest of your time with our um, different you know, vendor shows and things that are going on and do lots of different events all throughout the resort. And there's nothing like Kohler in the fall. There no. really <laughs> isn't. And it's just magical. The colors, the pumpkins, the way they decorate it. So just come down for lunch and right. just check it out. Just take a nice fall drive. Mm -hmm. um, how can people find out about uh, the, I mean, there's tons and tons of classes going mm -hmm. on all weekend long uh, and, and a lot of them very, very reasonable. Right. Uh, so at KohlerFoodandWine.com, you're going to see our full schedule of events, our full uh, lineup of all of our celebrity talent and um, winemakers that are going to be there. You also see some of our events are starting to sell out, so you want to hurry up and get your tickets soon because uh, they are going fast. It's really a cool event, and one of the coolest part about it is that you get to taste and, yes. and, and try <laughs> all sorts of different food and wine, so it's a great time. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Thank uh, you. Good to see you. I'll see you down there in a couple weeks. Sounds Becky, good. thanks for this wonderful bread pudding. I can hardly wait for it to cool off and, and dive in. Coming up, we are going to make a great snack mix, perfect for this weekend's Packer game. Stay with us. We'll be back.